Okay. I think we are live. I'm trying to get on Facebook here as well. And we are live. Let me just make sure Facebook is online here. Will be only make sure comments are on. This is my first one in a while here trying to do uh, Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So let's just see. I think we're on. We got Steve Macias. We got uh, Junior Gulls. Maybe that's Carl Alder. I don't know. How you doing, bud? Uh, just trying to make sure we're on Facebook here as well. If we got some people, uh, feel free to guys give me a thumbs up or a high five or something if you're on. So I may, I know that you can hear me on, uh, on Lewis Macias. We got Lewis on here too. Awesome. Going to get started in one second here. I just want to make sure we're good on Facebook as well. Oh, hey, Lewis. Jason, John's on. All right. I haven't seen you guys for a while with the shutdowns. So uh, Instagram is going good. I think Facebook is on. So I'm going to get going here. Uh, as I put out there on Facebook and Instagram, doing our first live today, I'm planning on doing a series of these while we're everyone's home from the rinks and, uh, you know, hear different things. Obviously, everyone's a little depressed that they're not on the ice right now and they got to stay home. So I wanted to do uh, a live today uh, about Facebook's what? Facebook. Facebook is on. All right. Thanks, Joyce. Help me out with that. Um, I want to do a live today on how to turn this downtime into your own unfair advantage. So life hits you with things that you could never uh, expect or plan for, and hockey does the same, right? So think about um, in a game, a, a referee call, a bad bounce, something crazy happens. This kind of stuff happens all the time, and now we're dealt uh, this this card here. Um, for uh, with the with the COVID virus, and my hope, my first hope is that everyone's families and everyone is safe and healthy and happy, uh, and we're here for you guys. And now I want to hear. We want to be here with the junior ranks, support you guys during this during this downtime, and give you some perspective and ideas and things. And like I said, rather than be something that sets you back, use this downtime for an opportunity to jump forward and to surpass. You know your competition out there that may be looking at this differently. So the number one thing uh, that we want to do in this downtime is shift our perspective. Not Instead of focusing on what we don't have or what's not available to us, we can't go into the rinks, maybe we can't even go you know, around other people at all. Instead of focusing on what we don't have and be kind of down about that, focusing on what we do have. Hey, Levy, how you doing? Focus on what we do have, what we have available to us. I coach David's on too. Awesome. Um, so what do we? So for, for what do we have? Uh, an abundant mindset. What's available? Not and what's under our control. Not focusing on being depressed about what's what's not under our control. We can't we can't change when when this is all going to blow over. We can't change that we can't uh, get on the ice right now. Uh, we can't change we can't be around maybe our friends and, and friends and things and go play even a game of ball hockey outside. Um, but. Uh, but we, but we do have a lot of things to our disposal. What do we have? Focus on what, what we have and what we can control. And so the first thing starts with, with ourselves. And again, this applies to yourself as a hockey player, of course, as well. Again, you can't control what position the coach puts you at. You can't control the referees. You can't control the surface of the ice. You can't control all these, all these things, but you focus on what you can control as an athlete. So what do we have at our disposal? Well, well first, number one asset we have right now is time. Right, schools are schools are out. Uh, a lot of people are out of, are out of work right now, um, and we have time on our hands. What else do we have? We're at home. We probably have a stick at home. We might have a pair of inline skates. Should have a puck or some balls and things like that. Do we have any other workout material, uh, other other equipment and things which we don't need a lot of? That I'll t I'll share more about. And then you know, what's the situation? What else do we have going for us? Well, everyone else is in the same situation as us too, right? So no one's able to go to the rinks and skate and play and get better. So uh, 
I can also play normal hockey. So of course, yes, of course. If you can, that's great. Uh, but we, ever, most people are in the same situation that they can't, um, they can't get the rinks too. So if I'm at home and it's going to be two weeks or longer, um, what can I do so that I don't take a step backwards because now I'm not on the ice, you know, maybe I was going three days a week or four days a week, whatever it is. Uh, what can I do now to make sure I keep making gains? And also, what can I do in comparison to everybody else who's maybe not doing anything either? And how can I make sure that I'm not falling behind and I make sure that I'm actually going to take it, take advantage? Because this is a huge opportunity right now while other people may be getting out of shape, uh, you know, getting rusty and that kind of stuff to actually jump past them even further, to come out of this break further ahead than you were when you went into it and surpassing other people around you is the opportunity. So I want to get to, um, and feel free to put in questions and comments I can address specifically. And if there's things that you want to be addressed specifically in the coming days, um, I can bring on guests. We can talk about specific topics that you guys want or give you guys tips or, 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 or information on specific things that you want to hear. Let me know in the comments whether you're watching live or on the replay, and we can get to that in the future. But now to get to get real practical, what are some specific things you can do to make sure you come out of this break ahead of everybody else that's maybe going backwards during this break? Number one under your area under your control is your own schedule. So get in just because you don't have school and you don't have hockey practice and these things right now. Create a daily routine, a daily schedule. Maybe you set it for the next week or two, where you create a schedule of what time you're going to wake up. This is what the elite athletes in discipline do. They don't stay up till, you know, three in the morning playing video games and then just sleep in till noon or whatever it is. Uh, and then, you know, eat candy all day or whatever. If you're an elite athlete, if you're in an off season or a break time as an elite athlete, you have a disciplined schedule. You have something that you've designed in advance and you've committed to yourself in advance that you're going to follow what time you're going to go to bed, what time you're going to wake up, setting that alarm, and then what you're going to do for that day. I would recommend planning your workouts or your, uh, you know, stick handling and things like that uh, earlier in the day, in the morning, so you get it done and, 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 and nothing else interferes with your day. If you're really uh, going to be ser serious about your training, it's probably, especially now with no school and, and no practice and things, you're probably scheduling two, two sessions a day. Maybe it's a morning workout session and some stick handling stuff and then some more stick handling stuff and shooting in the uh, later in the afternoon. You're scheduling your wake up time, you're scheduling your sleep time, at least eight hours, probably most kids try to get to that 10 hour range. There's no reason not to right now to get to get on a real good sleep schedule and try to mirror it to something that's gonna be consistent when you are back in school and practice. So you stay on a routine and a schedule, but you don't get all, all off and, and, and messed up with your, with your sleeping. That's a big thing for your performance and it's a big thing for uh, to have peak performance in your training. And then, like I said, setting your training schedule in the morning and then also maybe again as well in the afternoon and then setting the times that you're going to eat. Then where are you going to eat? Are you going to eat just a bunch of junk food and things like that? And scheduling yourself to still eat healthy food throughout the day and then getting specific on those workouts. So there's a ton of things that you can do uh, at home with little or no equipment. Uh, we'll be sharing with you guys uh, some some specific home workouts and off ice workouts that you can do literally in a space like your garage or in front of your house. All kinds of body weight stuff, and then you can handle the handle the puck or handle the ball with your stick as, and and potentially set up an area to shoot, which you don't need a lot of space for to shoot um, and do stuff something every day to get better. So again, just to recap. Setting a schedule, not only for each, for, for setting, starting with like a two week schedule of what you're going to uh, do each day and then break it down to each day, what time you're going to wake up, what time you're going to go to bed, when you're going to eat your meals around, doesn't have to be exact when you're eating meals, plan on eating healthy meals and then planning your workouts. I would recommend in this downtime to do two a day in the morning and then the afternoon. I would start with your, uh, your, your physical workout. Hey, Joe. How you doing? We got Joe Allison and Ben Hampton on now too. We got a bunch of players on. This is awesome. Gavin Mears is on, which is great. I think he's uh, maybe doing a tournament or something with us this spring. Uh, so good to have you guys. We're talking about how to turn this downtime into your unfair advantage. So again, your schedule is the big thing. Your workout in the morning, I would start with your, your, your physical strength and performance 
workout. We'll share you guys if you need some some specific things to follow. We're going to share some of that stuff with you. But a lot of it will come down to explosive movements. So you don't need to go for long runs and things like that anyways. It's things like push-ups. It's things like jump squats, uh, other uh, squats, hockey position stuff, lunges, uh, plyometrics, which you can all do in a really small area, whether it's just outside your house or even in the garage or something like that. I would have do that in the morning, followed with some stick handling routines, shooting if you have it and can do it. And then in the afternoon, again, get back to uh, some kind of a light warm up and then a, some more stick handling and shooting stuff. If you have a pair of inline skates, uh, that's great. And if you have a space that you can do it where you can do your shooting and stick handling on your inline skates, which is great. But if you have room to even do a little bit of skating stuff too, you can definitely practice um, your, your skating uh, edge work and stuff on inline skates as well. We can show you guys how to do some of that as well if you want. If you do, if you are able to skate outside and go around and skate some hills and stuff on your inline skates, that's good too. So Ben's got inline skates, perfect. So if you got a stick, a ball and a puck, inline skates, you can, guys can work out at home every single day. You can stick handle home every single day if you have an area to shoot. Now you can do pretty much everything. And uh, I would, like I said, you can do this stuff twice a day. I'd recommend stick handling work for at least 20 minutes, uh, if, if not more, going through different, different drills, which we can also share with you guys. Um, uh, sheets is on, great. And then, uh, and then a shooting for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then a workout for at least 30 minutes, which you can get an exhausting workout if you're doing plyometrics and strength, uh, body weight strength stuff, planks and push-ups and jump squats and lunges and all that kind of stuff. If you're going through a rotation of full body stuff, uh, you can do, you can get a lot done. Like I said, not long runs, uh, those kinds of things, you're gonna be doing more strength and explosive uh, speed, speed stuff as a hockey player. And we'll help you guys with that. The other thing that you can do in the meantime, so if you have your plan of the workout in the morning, stick handling and shooting work, then you're gonna have a break, you're gonna have uh, lunch and things, and then again, later on in the afternoon, uh, early evening, um, have your do your stick handling and shooting work again. In the meantime, you can also use this time to become a student of the game. The best players are, are studying the game constantly. There's a ton of stuff online we can also share with you guys and help you if you have specific questions, but you can be watching game footage, you can be watching uh, stuff about uh, specific hockey sense stuff. There's so much available now on YouTube, uh, uh, with from NHL players uh, like Crosby, watching stuff that they do, how they train, watching Connor McDavid, uh, these types of things. And we can share some specific things with you guys to learn as well. We'll share, have those resources coming soon. So again, uh, I'm going to sign off here in a minute. We're going to do some longer live sessions in the future. So let me know, like I said, even if you're watching this on the, on the replay, put your comments in. I'll read them if you have spe specific guests or topics like college hockey, how to play college hockey, how to play junior hockey, how, what, how to eat properly for hockey, you know, all these types of things. Uh, maybe online schooling, we've talked about doing a thing about, um, you know, different, different educational things. Let us know, we can do those in the future. But for today, the main takeaway is don't let this downtime be a period where you go backwards in your training and development. Use this as an opportunity to get better. Use this as an opportunity that other people are sitting around maybe doing nothing and going backwards and for you to pass them by working extra hard during this time and doing the extra things, setting up a routine, a schedule for your week, a schedule for your day, a wake up time, a bedtime, meal times with healthy meals, uh, workout in the morning, stick handling work, shooting work, and then again, another session in the afternoon or early evening, and then studying the game, get a pair of inline skates uh, ready, uh, get a get a, a, a an old stick ready ball puck and things it's, it's all you need and then just some if you have some basic workout material you don't even need much i will show you guys how to do that and uh come out of this two to three weeks whatever it is better than when you finished and ready to go and rock when you get back on the ice that everyone says whoa what the heck happened to you know so to ben or to joe or to steven they they're even faster and i'm slow and out of shape and they pass me. So use this time for your own unfair advantage. Unfair meaning other people are going backwards, you're going forward, and let us know if you need help. Uh, let us know questions that you have, and we'll be here to guys support you guys around the, along the way. I'm planning on going live uh, almost every day during the week, and we're gonna answer your questions and sh start sharing with you guys specific workouts and tools and things that you guys can use uh, for your training so you can come back stronger than ever, and Junior Ray Nation is gonna come back ahead of the pack because everyone else will be sitting around doing nothing and our players will be working out and being disciplined and 
preparing every day while we're off. I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys on the next live. Tomorrow, I'll start putting topics. I'll be answering your questions. Let me know what you got, and I'll talk to you guys soon.